And there's the bell. This match has got the hair on the back of my neck standing up, Michael. This is going to be great. Being in a move like this is awful. The pain of the muscles and joints is excruciating. I just wonder when the match will be over. Maybe when a bone breaks or two. What's he going to do here? What's he going to do here? And what a reversal from Barrett. And now Tyson Kidd pushing forward. A graduate of the famous Heart Dungeon in Calgary, Canada, Tyson Kidd has been one of the most exciting competitors to enter the squared circle. Tyson's been one half of the United States Tag Team Champions and the WWE Tag Team Champions. He also had a major WrestleMania moment at WrestleMania 26 when he gave a heart attack to Mr. McMahon off the top rope. Tell us your thoughts about Tyson Kidd. What hasn't been said already? Everybody's talking the unbelievable potential we're witnessing here. Let's just sit back and enjoy. We'll have our third competitor momentarily. What a match this is going to be. I've been looking forward to this one for a long time, Cole. Tyson is tough for sure. And they push bad news. Barrett sent to the back. Oh, that's not good for Barrett. Not at all. Santino Morella making his way down here. <laughs> Just the sight of Santino cracks me up. He's hilarious. Oh, that was close. He's coming back through the ropes. He's in full-on attack mode now. You have to wonder what's going through these guys' minds in a match of this magnitude. Oh! Look out! Sergeant Slaughter on the offensive? Man, oh man, did he take a wild swing with that one. You're right. That was wild indeed. Good thing we're over here. Sandow making his way in now. You know, Cole, I feel we talk about the strength of Santino Morella's Cobra week in and week out. Santino gets overcome with almost a crazed look in his eye, pulls out the patented Cobra sleeve, and bam, the Cobra strikes. And after that, it's one, two, three. He's got him. Tyson Kidd. A oh, resounding move by Tyson Kidd. Well, not giving Sergeant Slaughter a chance for any re from the top. Good Lord, that wasn't even close. So that's what it's like being so far off the mark. And a big reversal from the Sarge. Very nicely done. That's it for Sergeant Slaughter. Mm -mm -mm. It just wasn't his night, Cole. Here's another competitor. And look at him, Michael. He looks determined to win this match. In a slightly peculiar way, it makes complete sense that Santino's finished. That's it for Colonel Mustafa. And look, wait a minute. Looking around, I don't think anybody's shedding a tear, Michael. From what we've seen and heard tonight, there must be serious injuries. No kidding. This is going to need some serious medical attention. One move after the other. It's devastating. This is hard to watch. This is going to be bad. The momentum is now with Santino Morella, and he's moving this match forward in his favor quickly. Is it time already? That was fast. Well, here comes many people's pick to win this thing. This is exactly how he drew this one up. Narrowly avoids the attack there. And oh, they're taking a risk here. That's how you win matches. It all began in 2007 when Santino emerged from the crowd of Raw's first ever broadcast from Italy. Santino answered Mr. McMahon's challenge and somehow defeated Umaga for the Intercontinental Championship. And he's been his own life force ever since. Santino's been linked to beautiful divas and enjoyed reigns as a WWE Tag Team Champion and a United States Champion. That wild strike found nothing but empty air that time. <laughs> Man, that's what you call swinging for the fences and missing. When he gets going like this, there are a few better. Santino Morella, no problem getting out of that one. Jerry, earlier you talked about...
about Santino's entry into WWE and two things we must discuss are the appearance of the supposed twin sister Santina, <laughs> who won the Miss WrestleMania 25 Divas Battle Royal, and one of the most destructive strikes this business has ever seen, the Cobra. Coco, we get a front row seat every week to see Santino and the Cobra in action. While Santino's methods are a bit unusual, the Milan Miracle has experienced significant success here in WWE. But you know what? I'd rather not discuss Santina. And that's an elimination for Sandow. That'll make your heart beat. He's fought out of it. Tyson Kidd has found an answer here. Clearly on a mission here. The head buckle clinch it. One of the reasons Chris Jericho is so difficult to defeat is his mix of offensive maneuvers. Jericho's blended wrestling styles from everywhere he's been, so he can hit you with enziguris, power. That's it for Sting on this night. And you can read the disappointment on the Stinger's face. This guy's kicks are so impactful. Tyson Kidd. And Tyson Kidd makes him pay for all that. The damage has been done. Oh, going to the top. High risk. Look out below! Look out! Here's another competitor. And look at him, Michael. He looks determined to win this match. We're going to rearrange the face here. And he's still in this. is in trouble. Look out! Look out! Jericho is taking advantage. And Tyson Kidd is done for the night. And yeah, not much for Kidd to celebrate tonight. Sometimes I don't like complimenting Chris Jericho because we've certainly had our differences in the past. But you're right, Cole. His opponents get hit with everything and the kitchen sink. Just watch Jericho's knee lift. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. He's been waiting for his chance to enter. Oh, he's coming back in. Chris Jericho doing a great job of turning that around. He's in full-on attack mode now. Oh, that's it for Cactus Jack. Wow, he's still down after that. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. Well, that's a strategy you have to always have in the back of your head, Cole. If you ever see a weakness in your opponent, you got to jump on it. Is he, is he out? No, he made it back in. Jericho's been eliminated. It's so hard not to have a good time a lot. He's still in this one. Here's the moment he's been waiting for. I'll tell you, I wouldn't be surprised if he was among the last few in there, Cole. There goes Santino. Reversal. Zack Ryder showing his skills. Oh, that'll knock the wind out of you. Oh, no. Wait a minute, Cole. What's he going to do here? Breaking fools off now. Oh, Adam Rose unable to be contained. Now momentum is in the corner of Bam Bam Bigelow. Oh, he couldn't find a home for that one. Well, it certainly wasn't due to a lack of trying, Michael. I can't believe him not to say this. But even... And the clock hits zero. Here comes a superstar. Oh, wow. This changes everything. Not today. Too fast. He's inflicting some serious pain here. He's got him hooked. Bam Bam Piccolo on the offensive. Complete domination here. 
Time for another superstar to join the match. I wouldn't be in any hurry to get down to that ring. It's not a race, you know. William Regal, is he, is he out? No, he made it back in. What's gonna happen now? of WWE's best. He's still in this one. And he fit. Oh, that was close. He's coming back through the ropes. And I'm getting more painful than that. What a display of power that was. My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here. And he's still in this. Is it time already? That was Greedy Asbury Park. Greedy. Barry Park. Uh oh. What is Zack Ryder going to do here? He's having a seriously hard time getting back to his feet after that. Don't mistake Adam Rose's colorful and carefree personality for stupidity. I mean, this guy knows exactly what he's doing in the ring. I particularly like how he zeroes in, although he's coming back in. We're looking at complete domination here. Quick thinking to avoid that. Tyler Breeze is not someone to sleep on. He's still in this one. Look at Victor here. And William Regal's night's over. Well, let me tell you something. Putting away a veteran like William Regal is no easy task. Oh, wait. Nice reversal. Oh, no. Tyler Breeze still dazed. Not today. Too fast. You know, getting back to Adam Rose targeting the head, he does that, of course, to soften up his opponent for his patented party foul finisher. Oh, you're right, Cole. He'll set up the party foul with a variety of different moves. We've seen him use the Bulldog or a DDT. Hey, even a few jabs to the face can do the trick. Once you get the Exotic Express going, it's tough to slow it. Oh, man, from the high rent district. I wouldn't know what that's like. Look at Adam Rose. Spinebuster. Oh, we. He'll never be the same after that. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt kicking right here. Victor, what a crafty maneuver. Bam, bam, Bigelow with the offense. Another superstar has entered the match. Well, Michael, this guy's been telling anybody that would listen that he's going to win this thing. Well, buddy, here's your chance. Slam down hard. And there goes Bigelow. That elimination certainly categorizes as an upset. Wow. King, I think it's safe to say that Cody Rhodes has lost his mind. Have you ever come across anybody as odd as Stardust? Yeah, of all the things he's ever lost, he misses his mind the most. I don't think, Cole, that I have ever seen anybody like Cody Rhodes. And of all the time we thought Goldust was the bizarre one, well, I guess it just runs in the family. He's fought out of it. Delivering the damage to the chest now. the Rhodes name aside in favor of Stardust. Is he, is he out? No, he made it back in. Remember, momentum in WWE can turn on a dime and leave you some change. Here's the moment he's been waiting for. I'll tell you, I wouldn't be surprised if he was among... Victor's been eliminated. Can I tell you, I, for one, am not sad to see Victor go. He really freaks me out. Zack Ryder seizes the opportunity. And he's still in this. DDP is still dizzy. He's in trouble now. Red suplex. When he gets going like this, there are a few better. Hey, Diamond Dallas Page, no problem getting out of that one. 
Oh, no. Diamond Dallas Page with the opportunity. Oh, out of nowhere. Look at this. Zip. He's fought out of it. Diamond Dallas Page takes the upper hand here. Titus O'Neil with a nice reverse. Is he is he out? No, he made it back in. Oh man, hurting the ribs and the lower back. That just takes all of the power out of him. Look out! I think Adam Rhodes is getting, and that spells the end for DDP. Yeah, let's see him try to spin this elimination into a positive. What's he gonna do here? What's he gonna do here? Reversal! Adam Rose showing his prowess! Oh, out of nowhere! Bam! Get ready, folks! Get ready! Whoa! Don't get up! And once again, we see a return to the specific maneuver. Hey, whatever works. Yeah, if it keeps working, keep working. He's pulling out all the stops tonight. Oh, wait, nice reversal. Wow, that was a wild strike. Talk about missing the target. Yeah, it looked like it was completely out of desperation. Ouch. After a move like that, he's going to need to see a chiropractor or a spine specialist, whatever he's comfortable with. No pun intended, of course. Yeah, he's not going to be comfortable for a while. Here comes another superstar. Oh, man. I hope they reinforce the ring for this one. Move after move. Titus is using all his mind to keep this going here. Yet another one for the highlight reel. Adam Rose with the offense. Great offense by Titus O'Neil. This could be big. An impressive strike there. Good Lord, that wasn't even close. So that's what it's like being so far off the mark. He's gone. Zack Ryder, Long Island IC, has been eliminated from the Royal Rumble. And he's still in this. Man, that got him good. He landed a perfectly placed strike. That'll send a message to your adversary, all right. Right, and the message reads, P-A-I-N. And Adam Rose's night's over. Well, it looks like it's back to the Exotic Express for Rose. Ah, uh, poor Dusty. He spent decades making the Rose name legendary. And here's Cody making a complete mockery of it. Looking to fly. Look at this night time. Incredible. To take a chance like that. Do you know how badly he must want to win this? Oh, look out, Houston, we got a problem. When the blood gets running in that stardust body of his, he becomes immersed in the energy of the fifth dimension. That strike hit the spot. There's no way he could have avoided that blow. Fontango is done. And not a moment too soon, if you ask me. Another superstar is about to join the match. You know what? Is he, is he out? No, he made it back in. Oh, no. Wait a minute, Cole, what's he going to do here? We're witnessing a merciless assault. No mercy whatsoever. Uh-oh. Oh, oh never going in. Big trouble for Lex Luger. We're looking at complete domination here. There can only be one time. And he's still in this. He's still not through. Uh, is it time? Or what a move. What a smart move. He's still not through. O'Neal gone. The six foot six, 270 pounder has been eliminated. This is a wreck. 
He's moving like an uncaged animal. Oh, wow. He's wild in there. A quick reversal by Lex Luger. Oh, wait. Nice reversal. A quick reversal by Stardust. Quick thinking to avoid that. Oh, that's one way to make your lunch come back up. Here's another competitor. And look at him, Michael. He looks determined to win this match. Is he, is he out? No, he made it back in. at complete domination here. Look out. Oh, that'll knock the wind out of you. You know, there's nothing fancy about the way Lex Luger competes in the ring. He's all about using his amazing strength to overpower his opposition. And more often than not, he succeeds. We're looking at complete domination here. domination here. Is it time already? That was fast. Well, here comes many people's pick to win this thing. Punishing the chest like this can only make matters worse and real fast. Yeah, this is getting bad in a hurry. Work is he's fought out of it. Oh, my. Oh, the flying forearm smash. That knocked him goofy. When looking at Luger's power game, I couldn't agree with you more, King. Everything he does in the ring showcases his amazing strength. You need to look no further than his bear hug or military press or even his devastating power slam. Well, I guess that when you're as strong and powerful as Lex Luger, there's no need for a Hercarana or springboard plancha. Although I wouldn't be surprised if he could do them. Luger's just flat out amazing athlete. Connor's showing great endurance for a big man. Oh, they couldn't find a home for that one. Well, it certainly wasn't due to a lack of trying, Michael. Ooh, that did it! Connor seems helpless. General Adnan is all about getting it done right here, people. the celestial craziness aside though stardust really is an outstanding competitor and even more impressive he's completely revolutionized his offense and he's still in this oh wow and the clock hits zero here comes another superstar oh wow this changes everything and we're back to this form of attack yes we are the same form of attack we've seen before he's in full on attack mode now Reversal. Stardust seizes the opportunity. Oh, Connor man. Oh, my, Connor. And that shot was dialed in. Man, oh, man, did he take a wild sway with that one. You're right. That was wild indeed. Good thing we're over here. No longer do you see the Cody Rhodes uppercut when countering a back body drop. Now you get a kick to the head. Just one of the many differences between Cody Rhodes and Stardust. Yeah, and one of my favorites is the falling star springboard from the apron to the outside. That's nice. Stardust is under some heavy assault. Oh, he's coming back in. This might be a resounding move. By there goes Connor King. Man, and you know I had pegged him for one of the favorites here tonight. When this guy's on, look out. Quick thinking to avoid that. Oh, incredible move by Hideo Itami. Lex Luger's out. 
Tommy is fairly new to the American sports entertainment scene, but that doesn't mean he's not an accomplished competitor. And Tommy has reached near legendary status in his homeland of Japan. Where I might add it, Tommy is a former tag team champion, junior heavyweight champion, and heavyweight champion. It's no wonder he's a big deal in Japan. And that sends General Adnan packing. Yeah, packing all the way back to Iraq, I hope. The action is fast and furious here in this car. Oh, that was close. He's coming back through the ropes. A yeah, fresh superstar has just entered the match. A huge advantage for the newcomer. A huge advantage indeed, considering the guys in the ring have been going at it for quite some time now. Uh-oh. He's in position. Ready to strike. Oh, out of nowhere. This is not what Enzo and Morey signed up for. He's pulling out all the stops tonight. Look out, Royal Rumble. Here comes a hungry Darren Young. There's the suplex. Oh, man. How do you stand after an attack like this? A knockdown drag out brawl complete with a big stomp. Man, these guys are throwing bombs. They're pulling out all the stops. And getting it put on him, Hideo Itami. Darren Young's through here. Well, you know, Young may not take any days off, but it looks like he has the rest of the night off now. You know, here's a guy in Finley that spent two decades absolutely destroying the competition over in Europe before coming over to the United States in 1996. And when he got here, he just kept on destroying the competition. The change in scenery did nothing to slow Finley down. Is it time already? That was fast. He's still in this one. And a great shot by Ryback. Was close. He's coming back through the ropes. Finley first targeted Lord Steven Regal when he got to the States in 1996. And boy, did those two go on to have some amazing matches in WCW. From there, Finley was able to claim the hardcore and television titles before WCW was acquired in 2001. You know, I'd say WWE acquiring WCW was the best thing that ever happened to Finley. When he came over here, he really began to hit his stride. I'm pretty sure he'd tell you his 2006 United States Championship victory was a career highlight of his. And now, Fit Finley pushing forward. Oh, that's one way to make your lunch come back up. Aiden English isn't enjoying this one bit, folks. turns it around now with complete control you know this Enzo Amore is five foot eleven but he has a mouth on him like he, is he is he out no he made it back in what's he gonna do here what's he gonna do here time for another superstar to join the match I wouldn't be in any hurry to get down to that ring it's not a race you know he's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here uh oh Right, and he's tripled up. Simon Gotch is a force within the ring. What a completely unbelievable move by Enzo Amore. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Oh, wait, nice reversal. King, you're right about Enzo Amore. He certainly has a ton of confidence. I guess that just goes to the territory when you... Oh, he's coming back in. Oh, right to the gut. Well, that messed him all right. Hey, did you look before firing? What an idiot. And he's still in this. And now, Simon Gotch pushing forward. Oh, out of nowhere. Dishing out some serious punishment here. Aiden English spots the chance and takes it. Enzo Amore finds a way out. Oh, what impact. 
Look out. He's fought out of it. Enzo Amore being pressed hard. He's endured heavy blows here. I don't know how much longer he can go. The referee may have to call this match, King. Oh, my gosh, this is awful. I'm going to tell you something. Whenever you get hit like that, for the next 15 minutes, everybody you see has an exact win. You know, as finishers go, Ryback shell shock has to have just about the highest degree of difficulty of any finishing move in the WWE. I mean, if you can pull it off, it's a devastating move. But there are only a handful of guys out there who have the strength to do it. His chest may be black and blue after this. We're in the feeling out process. Who's going to get the advantage and maintain control? Your guess is as good as mine, Cole. This is what makes him one of... And we're down to the final three competitors. You said Ryback shell shock was a difficult finisher. Right. And that's just under normal circumstances. Exactly. Big Hungry has used it in extreme situations. He shell shocked the great Kali for Pete's sake. Oh my gosh. And that's unreal, Michael. I mean, that's like lifting a refrigerator. I wouldn't want to lift up Kali's foot to tie his shoe. Never mind picking up his whole darn body. Ryback has some serious muscle. This is not what Enzo and More signed up for. Oh, wait, nice reversal. You witness this type of physicality and wonder, if it looks this bad on the outside, how much worse is it on the inside? Yeah, there could be some serious internal damage here. Is he, is he out? No, he made it back in. King, if trash talking earned you wins in this business, Enzo Amore would be a first ballot Hall of Famer. Oh, without a doubt, Cole. This kid is personality plus and certainly isn't lacking in the confidence department either. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. Hey, he's going for it again. He's in full on attack mode now. Look at Ryback making his move. Uh-oh, the apron short. Enzo Amore's a goner. Well, you can't win them all, I guess. <laughs> 30 of three eliminations. He's making his pressure. Here's your winner, ladies and gentlemen. Here's your winner, Ryback! Big win here in this elimination style match. You have to imagine Aiden English isn't pleased with this performance here tonight. What amazing action we're seeing here at the Royal Rumble.